people have to have an interest, but it's individuals like you who are working for the city that are putting the bottom of the foundation. What, what do you see happening in downtown over the next, let's say someone came to downtown five years from now, what would they find? Uh, something like this, but maybe about 10 or 15 different places. Um, I'm excited to be here tonight. I mean, just not only is, is this occurring on a, on a daily basis, or on a weekly basis, a weekly basis sorry. Um, but also we have more oil, we have, we have, I think this is the way it starts. You know, the, uh, it starts from the, from the ground up, this is a grassroots effort. It's good to see y'all supporting this, um, that method, so the city's putting a lot of uh, support uh, in certain ways. Uh, I know the crowd was stuck, it's decided to perform the arts, we're helping out. A lot of people are pulling together, but it's good to see that positive attitude. Why, why was Mike Allen able to get such a head start on this, on the 17th Street block, uh, district, while well, we're still kind of in the baby stage? Um, you know, I think it's a, the county's a different animal. Uh, yeah, the back is a different They actually, they also enforce the issue. Uh, they enforce the bars to keep that down. Um, you know, certain regulations that we need. Uh, we don't want to do that. You know, the, uh, the city wants to, you know, to flourish on its own. Uh, and then not have to enforce it. You know, as we all know, they've had, they've had multiple issues. Like an operation of all the artists there, but if it starts slowly and people start getting used to it, like we're looking at it here, I think it's a uh, very positive thing. Well, the, the real dramatic change that's going to take place, obviously, is the new transportation hub opening up. It's going to clear. When do you see that happening? Um, the dates shift around, but. Uh, before the end of the year? Yeah, definitely before the end of the year. Uh, November. Yeah. The city buses, it, it, it's, it's, it changed around a lot. What do you see? It's either the city buses in November or the regional transportation buses in February or vice versa. What are we going to see down here in the old part of the market? They gonna have, I heard they're going to have an art thing on Sundays. And yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to uh, obviously work with, with uh, what's going on here. Try and establish something in market to where um, you know, maybe expand that the yes, Definitely, uh, there will be municipal investment at some point or another. Uh, sometimes these things take a while, uh, but I think uh, we're definitely on the right track here. Now, we were talking earlier, and you said that one of the problems is maybe a lack of identification, and you thought that if downtown Brown Town had a drink, that would bring in a certain acclamation. I came up with one. I don't know. I think it had tequila in it, but I didn't came up with the name. The Spanish Fly. I saw that on your blog. Now, I don't know. You read it, blog. <laughs> there is a reader on it. There's three. We don't have the three official readers. But anyway, the Spanish Fly has to have tequila, but I'm not sure what else we're going to mix with it. Lenny, everybody can um, keep an ingredient or a lot of content. You know, I saw, I saw that uh, McCallum actually had a, a, a drink of McCallum or something. Which is? Us. So they got, I don't know, they got some of the best That's not a concept. What do you say? We'll do it. We'll do a survey of the Doc Skelly Blue Show and we'll, we'll see what, you know, maybe we can have some bartenders. You know what? As part of our evolution, we'll start having call ins. <laughs> anyway, we're middle. Definitely, definitely. I, I think we need a drink. Well, that would be fun. Oh, we all need a drink right now. Oh, no, that's <laughs> <not good. laughs> anyway, we're really doing a hell of a job. It's, uh, it's a team effort. Everybody's uh, approaching it from different angles. We, I, I, I've said it time and time again, we can be the New Orleans of the Rio Grande, the Spanish Quarter, or whatever. But we have so much potential. And being in Brownsville since 1975, potential, potential, potential. We always hear about our potential. It's happening, Jerry. We just got to get everybody to know about it and get down here. I think everybody's buying in on the vision. And uh, I mean, just put yourself. I mean, who would have thought you'd be sitting here in downtown Brownsville? We're doing it. Hey, what about the Street here? What do y'all see? Are they going to make it a pedestrian mall eventually, or how the market go out, or what? That, that's a little bigger project that the scale's big. The thing about doing what we're trying to do right now is 